Hi, I'm Jake Reister, and welcome to our first web edition of Ask a Developer. Our first question is from Ayaz, and it is, how do web-based technologies and frameworks perform in the real world, and are there performance implications? Um, the answer is yes, there are some performance implications, especially when it comes to things like scrolling and maps. But in general, for most of the apps you're building, web actually holds up quite well, and it's getting a lot better. Um, software and hardware are both advancing at a very rapid rate. And one of the biggest uh, improvements is actually in developer tools. The latest versions of Chrome and Safari on Mavericks give developers a lot of insight into memory usage and GPU layers and things like that. And uh, if you're willing to spend some time kind of digging around and seeing really what's going on, you can a lot of times pinpoint the performance bottlenecks and find a way to work around those and actually get near native performance for most common scenarios. Our next question is from Amar, who is asking, what's the future of some of the web-based frameworks such as Titanium and PhoneGap? And uh, I think that they have a long future. Um, as web improves and is able to handle a lot of things, people are going to be using web technologies more and more. And I think the main benefit of frameworks like PhoneGap and Titanium is that they give you a way to sort of strategically integrate native components into your web-based apps. So for whether it's for performance reasons or things that the web just can't do yet on mobile devices, such as you know, accessing the camera, these frameworks give you a nice, clean way to integrate native code and sort of augment the code you already have written in web technologies. Um, and another big benefit to frameworks such as this is a lot of times they provide very nice build tools that help you, you know, set up your project and build to multiple platforms very easily, often with one command. Um, which would be a lot of work to sort of set up on your own. So yeah, I'd say these frameworks have a, a big future ahead of them. I think they're very helpful and uh, they work well together with the way the web is sort of progressing already. That's it for this episode of Ask a Developer. Uh, if you have questions, tweet them using hashtag AskADev or leave them in the comments.